King of TV Bowling presents The Gilmore Lanes Sunday Shootout Brought to you by Furniture Fair For style and flair, your best buy is at Furniture Fair Hammer, nothing hits like a hammer Rip City, real barbecue and great ribs Bowler's Edge Pro Shop at Gilmore Lanes. Powerhouse, the professional's choice. Strike Line Pro Shop. And by Ebonite International, building the best brands in bowling. Good afternoon, everyone. Vic Amon here with another King of TV Bowling Sweeper Series. Today we are at Gilmore Lanes where we have Joel Ray facing off against Earl Simpson. And this should be a pretty close match here. Earl today has been dubbed the Lefty Slayer. Uh, this guy has been chewing up left-handers and spitting them out. So let's see what the... Uh, Local favorite Joel Ray has got in store for us against uh, the Fireballer. Uh, Earl likes to elect to go with a lot of speed, really direct to the pocket, really accurate, and uh, I think he's got this uh, pattern figured out today. So, as these guys are finishing up with their warm ups, uh, Joel Ray will elect to start the match. We'll start on the left-hand lane. We had another great turnout this Sunday at Gilmore Lanes. Uh, Chris Woods, Jonathan Woods, Chuck Edmondson and the gang got this place looking sharp. These lanes are freshly resurfaced. So let's see what Joel's got in store in his first pitch. As he gets set on the left-hand lane. 17 and 18 today. Joel going a bit light. Shaking them up but leaving the six pin. And as we stated, the bowlers are bowling on a fresh surface here at Gilmore Lanes. Uh, they have yet to strip the back ends here, so there's going to be quite a bit of carry down on this championship pair, so. As Joel brings the spare back, we're gonna get a look at Earl Simpson. Earl is from uh, Newark, Ohio, around the Columbus area. Uh, him and a crew of his comes down to the Cincinnati Tri-State area on a regular basis. Earl leaves a four pin there. Uh, that gang travels down quite often to compete in our local sweepers. We just want to say thank you to all the guys that make the journey each and every week. We really appreciate it. As the fireballer looks to bring the spare back, and he does. Folks, as we stated, uh, we dubbed Earl the lefty slayer today. He got by three of the toughest left-handers in the area right now. Uh, one of his buddies, Roger Adams, he beat him in a roll-off to get to match play. He then proceeded to beat the top seed, Eric Roop, in a close match. And then after that, he got by one of the hottest bowlers in the area right now, Jermaine Kahn. As he rips the pocket there, and he just fires one in there for a strike, gets on the strike train. He is going against the house favorite and Joel Ray here. Joel really likes the center, so we'll see how Earl favors against uh, the local lefty here. So Joel gets inside here, wheels one up. Looking like he's having a little bit of trouble getting the ball to finish. Leaving the three, five, six. Cut it down here. 
Straight down, he brings the spare back. But Earl has been red hot today, so. He has been deemed the lefty slayer. This looks like Joel's going to be making a ball change here. Looks like he is. That's right, he's going to the diesel. Going out the Barter Special. The man that made the diesel famous, Adam Barter. Joel Ray on the left hand lane. Pumps one in there for a strike. So Joel gets something figured out on lane 17. Putting a little challenge back to Earl here. Let's see uh, how Earl responds. Just didn't quite look like the verdict was turning the corner for Joel, so he switched to that diesel and he's right there. All right, Earl gets set on the right-hand lane. Lane 18. Fires one in there again, folks. He is over 20 mile an hour. Just right up the pipe. He answers the challenge back to Joel. So that gives Earl a quick double. As he jumps out to an early lead in this match. the boards again. Eugene McCune, eat your heart out. Say hello to Earl Simpson. As Earl pumps another one in there. Well, we love you, Mr. McCune. Big fan here, if you're watching. <laughs> All right. Joel Ray getting set on the right-hand lane. Let's see if he can battle back in this match. It's close. Leaving the six pin. Not enough to a little bit too much at this point. He's got a little bit of the over-under going. Like we stated, these are freshly cut lanes, so the oil's been pushing quite a bit between uh, qualifying and match play. As Joel brings the spare back. So Earl's putting it to him pretty quick. Let's see how Joel responds. Get something figured out on this left hand lane. It's good pitch there. And he gets the A pin out late. So he got a good break there. Let's see if he can build on that. Folks, you too could be our next featured champion. Uh, we are currently holding qualifiers each week throughout the winter at Gilmore Lanes at 1 o'clock. On Sundays and at Coleraine Bowl at 6.30 and Sunday evenings. Uh, we currently have something in the works for the Northern Kentucky area as Earl leaves a smash 10. Stay tuned. Within the next three weeks we're looking to get a Tuesday night sweeper started at Florence Bowling Center. That's right Northern Kentucky fans you will get your shot to be a featured champion on the King of TV sweeper series. Uh, you can contact Adrian Guzman out at Florence, and he'll give you all the information as Earl flags the spare. Not what you want to do against Joel Ray. We all know that. But contact Adrian out there at Florence, and he will get you all the information that you need to be involved with the Tuesday Night Sweeper down at Florence Bowl. All right, well, at this point, with that open, Puts Joel right back in this match if he can get on the strike train. We'll see how Earl recovers here. As he gets set, fires another one right up the pipe. Going a bit wide of the pocket this time. As he leaves the 2 5. It's a choppable split, and he does just make it. That was close, folks. Almost had back-to-back -back opens, but he recovers and makes a spare. All right, well, this is where Joel does his damage. He sees an open, he's like, 
a shark in the water. You chum the waters and the feeding frenzy begins. Let's see if he can feast on this open. So, as he gets set on lane 18. It's close. Oh, he can feel that one, folks. Joel Ray is right back in this match. Another strike here, and this is going to put things in an interesting light. That's for sure. So. Give a shout out to Gilmore Lanes. They got this place looking great today. As Joel twirls another one up. Going a bit high. Leaving the 247. So the string stops there for Joel. She was looking to take control of this match just couldn't quite follow through with it but he brought the spare back and that tightens things up considerably as Earl still has a slight lead he fires another one in there 21 mile an hour, folks. Where's the Fairfield police when you need them? This man needs a ticket. But all joking aside, Earl's an accomplished bowler, and he gets the job done in his own unique way. Uh, that's, that's what makes this game so special. No one bowler is alike in this game, so... Get out there and practice your style as Earl fires another one in there. Issues a challenge back to Joel. Joel has got to get on the strike train. Great shot there by Joel Ray. Flush in the one two. But at this point, all he can do is push Earl. As if Earl goes to the wall, his max is 247. Uh, Joel, if he goes sheet, will be in the 230s. So he is going to have to keep. Keep the hammer down here to have any chance in this match. See a great pitch there by Joel. So he's mounting a late charge. Let's hope it's not too little too late. As Earl gets set, he can control his own destiny here and shut out Joel. And there's nothing Joel can do. Going high in the pocket, tripping out the 4-7 late. So he's setting the table up. Uh, the max Earl can get is 247. And Joel Ray's maximum will be in the 230s. So at this point, looks like Earl's going to need this first one here for sure. He gets set. Looks good. It's close. Oh, terrible break. Earl leaves the 8-10. And the lefty slayer is in trouble. As a crucial point in this match. Leaving the 8-10 split. As he's going for it with the backup ball. Gave it a run. But he goes nine out, and that will give him 213. Joel Ray 
and throw a double here and walk away with a victory. That's in. It's all going high, leaving the 610 with a spare strike. The best he can do at this point is 212. Folks, the lefty slayer, Earl Simpson, is going to be our champion for this week. He has gone through the field of left handers, the lone righty, to come away with the victory. How about that? As Joel brings his spare back. As he goes a little touche here with a right-handed fill. Shot's easy over there, huh? <laughs> Your winner today, Earl Simpson, 213 to 212. This has been the Gilmore Lanes Sunday Shootout. Sponsored by Furniture Fair. For style and flair, your best buy is at Furniture Fair. Powerhouse, the professional's choice. Hammer, nothing hits like a hammer. Track, evolutionary, revolutionary. Bowler's Edge Pro Shop at Gilmore Lanes. Robbie's Classic Bowling Performance, Strike Line Pro Shop, Rib City Real Barbecue and Great Ribs, and by Ebonite International, building the best brands in bowling.